Balas, oh, Zaka, well, definitely nothing at all the goalkeeper could do about that. He parried the ball back straight into the path of that man, and uh, I almost heard him say, thank you very much. Etienne also come for, he's uh, been a mainstay for Enyuba in the past couple of seasons. On Wugawa, I, I think that's the first thing they tell goalkeepers. When you've got to parry, parry sideways, don't parry back into the danger zone. By that time, I think uh, the heat of that initial header was so much that he had to spin it out into the riot zone. And who was first to arrive? Mr. Okonkwo. And how about that for a finish? He rifled that one between keeper and defender. Once beaten already. And that's the goal that makes a difference. I think the referee is reaching for his pocket there. Jonathan Ziki, who by Shuaibu Abdullahi, the center official from Katsina. He should have been expecting that because this was a quite rough challenge. Well, I, I think that even the yellow card was to pull the trigger. Who have a whole lot of experience, like Edo Ocheme. Yeah, is anybody get out? That was a rocket. Chino so Kompo, he could have had a hat trick very easily in this first half. That was an absolute bullet. Joseph Awunga, he would never have got there, but uh, the ball didn't curve nicely enough. On the foot counts, not a bad one. It cannons into the wall of defense. Uh, Dolphins think they should have gotten a, a penalty there, but uh, nothing doing. Great turn there. Uh, to that. Perhaps more than any other two players put together. <laughs> and that's actually, again, not well, Chino, that's uh, Chino Soko. Chino Soko for, <laughs> with his movement of the ball, he knows exactly what he wants to do with it. That also comes with experience. And uh, he seems to be taking some time before he gets back. Look at that again. He knew exactly what he was doing. He expected that of the defender. And uh, it uh, fell right into his laps. Of course, uh, that very highly likely to win something. Very good ball taken on the chest by Chino. So, and he strikes his shot, but... Uh, well... <laughs> Tremendous effort from Chinonsu. He's proven over and over again that he has a deadly shot to him. And the way he did that, the trickery, the skills involved. And he has the ball. A good delivery again. That time it's headed away, but not quite lost yet. And the ball turns around and creeps into the net. It is the equalizer. And well, I think they have worked for it. It's Chinonsu Kongpo. And uh, Chukunonsu Kongpo seems to have drawn them level indeed. 1-1 one, one, the score line now, uh, perhaps good uh, reward for their enterprise and their industry. I did say earlier he has been in a rich vein of scoring form and uh, coupled with the trickery of a great Kiemian, Chukuroso Koko is finding his form. But this is uh, a lot of uh, poor defending really and a very good very good anticipation just kills the ball with his back to reverse united surely fighting the hardest now it is a and the ball is forward was it a handball no claim to that and the ball just across the face of goal heartland living dangerously reverse united cranking up the pressure chukunonso kongpo in the driving seat now uh, players uh, going down all over that Hatland uh, six yard box, but they were very, very long. Given us waiting for the pass, Okonkwa off the post. That's a better one from him. Oh, no one expected that. Uh, many caught the ball with his inside of his foot. Good technique. He caught the ball with his inside of his foot. That was what the ball did not go. Unfortunately. He saw the chance and decided to hit it. Now he wrapped his leg around the ball. That's how the ball should be hit. Good technique. His head was facing downwards. Unfortunately, having beaten Ivan Fabi in goal, he chose to hit the upright and come back, luckily, to the arm.